Okay, now let's talk about combos with Mei. So, even though she's got a lot of um, comboing special moves that start combos for free and can, you can use in the neutral, a lot of her stuff, um, uh, when you get the opportunity to do a combo, you're gonna go through very similar combo routes most of the time. So, the bread and butter combo that I found with Mei Hatsume um, goes like this. So, it's a few attacks into Quark 1, dash up, yellow attack into Tilt Quark 1, wait for both hits to hit. Two hits, it's a tilt attack, and then, oh, I cancelled that a bit early, but then you go into Quark 2, and you get 9,083 damage, which is pretty good. Keep in mind, I did no dash cancels there. That's a pretty good and high damaging combo for that, so I'll just do it again, in case anyone wants to see me do it again. Um, it can be a bit less, a bit more damage if you let, oh, oops. Oh, well, wait, come on. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I should have gone into the quirk too early there, but as you can see, that can wall splat if you leave the um the yellow attack at the end as well, just to get a little bit more damage. But yeah, that's essentially what you're the combo route that you're gonna be going through most of the time. There are variations that you can do that are gonna do very similar damage, like if I did um and ran up and did something like this. But I've just found um, that combo does the most damage. Because one of the weird things about Mei is if I do like something like this really simple into the air, and then I do like into this, I can't cancel it into an air attack string in the air because I've done an air attack string. So you need to be really conservative about what moves you use and when. And that's why I like to use um, this in a combo, because it's not something you usually ever get to use, and then you're using all the tools you can. And it does a nice big chunk of damage as well. So yeah, I like to use that after I let get them onto the ground with this. Then I catch them with the Tilt Quirk 1. Oh, there we go. That's going to be a bit more damage. There we go. 9,336, and that's just because, um... Ooh. <laughs> That's just because um, a few more hits of the yellow attack hit. So yeah, that's the basic combo route you're going to be doing with me, And it's going to be pretty similar, like, no matter what the situation is. So even if I hit this from all the way up the other side of the screen, and I want to... Oops. And I want to get a combo from there. What's going on? I can go into basically the same thing. I just might end it a little bit earlier. Oops, I messed that up. Um, but yeah, I just might do... A, a little less of like the yellow tax or the oh my, what am I doing? <laughs> but a little less of the yellow tax or um, the quirk too, just to make sure they don't meteor blow too early. And there we go. It's gonna scale a bit more because um, that move uh, does scale a bit when you start a combo with it. But getting seven thousand from a full screen, a nearly like full screen projectile, is pretty good if you ask me. <laughs> And obviously, like, if you're in the air, you can do something similar. So if I'm in the air, I'll usually do a combo, like, oops. Um, into a yellow attack, into this. Um, hello. Um, oh wait, no, that doesn't work. So probably just, honestly, like, two hits. Yeah, um, just two hits into this. And then go up and do the same thing as, oops. It can be a bit tight from the air because she has to land as well, but similar things. I messed it up there, but it'll be around the same damage. Um, combos off of her red attack are a bit unusual because her red attack is just so weird. Like it hits differently if I do it from here, or it just doesn't hit if I do it there. It has really weird and small range, but if I do it from there, I can't even get anything. So if I do it from like not right under them, like here, I have to combo off of it with that if I don't want to use the dash cancel. And then I can get something like this, which is pretty okay damage. Or if I'm right up close, um, some you can usually get an attack off, but you have to be like <laughs> right under their feet, so you're not going to get that very often. Oh yeah, and then you can't do that either. Yeah, comboing off of her red attack, it's pretty weird. But, uh, yeah. And the same things are gonna go, like, if you catch them with your net, you know, you're gonna be throwing out the net quite a lot. 
in the neutral. Except keep in mind you can only have one net in a combo because if you do it twice it'll meteor blow instantly. So you're gonna change your combo and this is the other combo route um, for if you've used a net. So you can do something like this, three attacks into the yellow attack, into this, and oh wait no you have to um, just do a single hit into that because you've already done an air attack. Seven thousand four hundred damage, but that's gonna be on top of you know you grab them with the net. In the neutral, you've grabbed them, coming into a combo. Whoops. And yeah, you can go into a combo. It'll do about eight thousand damage, which is pretty good. You know, throwing out these great nets, which have a huge hitbox, by the way. And that's also something I want to talk about with her combos and resets. So if I do something like end a combo in uh, something like this, where the opponent can recover. Oops. So if I do something like into this, and I go into it all the way, when the opponent goes to recover, I often like to throw out the net, to, like and time the net really well, so um, that like when they recover. Oh my god, I'm not having much luck with this. Wait, if I do something, what's something that puts them in the air? Like this. And when they recover, I throw out the net, because the net has a really huge hitbox. Look at that, like, if I throw it from over here. It, it's pretty big. It's a really big move for a game like One Justice 2. And so yeah, something like that. Okay, if I do something like this, and then I... Oh, that was a little split. <laughs> So like pretend I've ended my combo like you know with something else, they go to recover, and I'll throw out the net, and depending on what direction they wake up in, they like quite often like end up just falling into my net. Like he nearly did there, he kind of went backwards though. I'm not having much luck demonstrating this, but playing online, this happens quite a lot. Like I can throw out my net and they just get into a whole new combo. I'm gonna try and demonstrate, I don't know why it's not working very well. See, that was kind of there, it wasn't, like, right at, at the moment. But you can see that they, like, so, as they recover, they get hit by the huge hitbox of the, um... Of the, this, whatever that's <laughs> Of her tilt quirk, of her, um... Her net, I mean. So, yeah, that's... Her combos aren't gonna really be that difficult, but, um, something to note with her combos is that she can always combo into her plus ultra too, because, um... Jeez, is she talking over herself? Oh, yeah, you have to be right against a wall, though. But she can very often combo into her plus ultra 2 um, after a combo. Um, if she's facing the corner, because here I'll just do it something simply just so I can show it. Because she can cancel into her plus ultras from the ground after that. They'll scale quite a bit though, because of all the... Her, well, just in general, her combo scale quite a bit. But you know, if it's at the end of your long combo and it'll take the round, you know, it'll take the round. It's worth it then. <laughs> this is a really long plus ultra 2 though, like, oh my, it's a whole episode. It is funny though, but I think they could have shortened it quite a bit. <laughs> and she blows herself up. Okay. But yeah, that's basically all I have to say about Mei and her combos. You're never going to be using her plus ultra 1 in a combo, because like, after you've landed this and then you land on the ground and then you do the plus ultra 1, it has kind of slow startup, so they'd be able to block it. See that didn't combo there? And because the plus ultra 1, it's mainly as like a long range projectile move, because it has like complete tracking, it zooms around, like tracks them, and then, so they have to block it. It'll like, it never misses, or I've never seen it miss, so far. But yeah, and you can't even cancel from the regular buttons because they put her in the air. But yeah, so basically, she's never going to be using a plus ultra 1. Um, just a plus ultra 2 if you are getting it off of the quirk 2. But um, yeah, that's basically all that you have to do with combos with me. Maybe if you want to get a little extra damage, you can um, add a dash cancel right at the end, and it's nearly the same combo. it a bit there. But essentially, you want to be saving your meter for her plus ultra moves, and you can just spend a little bit of meter if you just want to get a little bit more damage in her combos. 9,800, you know, they were doing, what, 9,000 before? You can sometimes get a bit closer to 10,000. I don't know why it did less damage there. But you know, just add a little dash cancel at the end of her, um, quote 2. And you're gonna get some more damage in your combos.
But yeah, that's about all I have to say for combos with Mei. They're pretty simple. She has very um, simplistic combo paths. You either are gonna cancel into her yellow attack, into this, and then do something along these lines. But what I like to do, and works best for me, is doing something like that.